After signing up for the affiliate program, there are two things you need to do. First, create the content for the product. Second, when you publish the content, you need a special link for the product so people can buy it. This link has a tracking code, which helps the affiliate program know that you made the sale. Let's see how to find this special link on Impact. And a bonus, I'll show you how I use shortened link tool with my brand website URL. When you log into Impact, you usually land on the homepage. Here you can see see a summary of your stats and more information. On the right side, you'll find the shared link tracker creator. You can also find it on the left side if you open the side menu. I'll explain this link creation process in details in this video. But before that, I want to show you the link and assets provided by the affiliate program. These assets include images and text that you can use for your promotion. At the top menu, you'll find a tab called content. Click on assets. Here you can access everything that the company you're promoting had created for affiliate like you. In the sub menu, you can find the specific assets you want to use, such as images, videos, or text, among others. On the left side menu, you'll see all the brands you affiliate with. You can filter the assets by choosing one of these brands. If you're looking for new deals, explore the option on the side and search for the assets you want. If you have many brands, you can search for specific brand name on the search box. Click on the images tab and let's see how to use images. Choose the image you want to use on your website or social media. On the right side, a new window will appear displaying that image. You can download it to upload it wherever you need. Next, click on the add code. This provides HTML code, useful if you want to add the tracking link on your website with the image. Personally, I prefer downloading the image and adding the link manually, but you can use this HTML code if you prefer. You can change the link to different page on the product website. And you can also add tracking parameters. I'll explain tracking parameters in a few minutes in this video, as it applies to any tracking link you create. If you just want to copy the link itself to put on the image, go to the last tab, tracking link. Here you'll find the link to copy without HTML. You can also add tracking parameters or change the page from the website. For video assets, note that not many products come with pre-made videos. Most of the time you'll need to create a video yourself. If there is a video available, you can open it by clicking on the assets image and then download it, similar to the process for images. The same option for changing link and adding tracking parameters apply here too. For emails, article assets, and sponsored text, you might not find anything in some cases. However, some brands do create promotional text that you can use. As for coupons tab, it's important to check if the coupon is still available before you publish it. Brands sometimes leave expired coupons, so it's crucial to ensure it's valid before sharing it with your audience. When you click on a coupon, you'll find a link already containing the coupon code, so you don't have to create it yourself. That covers the assets you can get from Products Affiliate Program. If you rely solely on the content they provided, you might notice that there isn't much variety. Personally, I use the images, but for all other content, I create it myself. Let's dive deep into creating the tracking link. You can go back to the homepage and do it from there, or you can use the side window. Either way, the setting are the same. Let's use the example of AppSumo brand. I also choose a product that I already use and know it's worth promoting because it's useful. Specifically, AppSumo doesn't have generous affiliate program. They only pay 5% and offer low priced products. However, they have a high conversion rate. I like to promote things I personally use and if they have it, I want to help my viewers. To start, I visit the AppSumo website and look for the product I want to promote, which in this case is switchy. A tool we'll use later in this video to create branded links. I copy the link from the product page and paste it into the impact link generator. Impact generates the link for me. They provided a shortened link that you can use as is, or you can use the longer link. I usually open this URL in a new window and copy the long tracking link. Then I go to switchy website where I already have my domain set up as branded domain. This way, my links appear as if they are on my own website. This is especially helpful for websites that don't like affiliate links. I click on create new link on Switchy and paste the long tracking link from Impact. Switchy is supposed to recognize the link and display an image. However, if it doesn't have an image for any reason, I go to the website and take a screenshot, which I then upload to Switchy. I can also add tracking codes. I choose my domain from the list and to keep things organized, I add this link 
next to the AppSum folder. There are many setting options on this page, but for simple use, you don't need to worry about most of them. And that's it, you have your affiliate link. The next part of the tutorial is for advanced affiliate. If you're not interested in that, you can skip to the last part, which I show you how to find your links after you created them. You can also find a video demonstrating how to use Switchy in the description, along with a link to the deal on AppSum. Going back to Impact, when you created a new affiliate link, you can add some tracking codes. Impact provided analytics for clicks and purchases. However, if you want to know where this traffic came from and which specific page or video people clicked on it, so you can understand what's performing well for you. Click on advanced and you'll find three UTM lines where you can add whatever information you want. For example, you can add the name of the post on your website or specify if it's a top banner or a side banner. If you're working with the manager and don't want them to see the analytics for these parameters, use the sub. If you want them to see it, use a shared ID. When you click on the property, you'll see a list of all of your social media and other assets you added to your profile. You can find a video explaining how to set them up in the description. Then choose the website from which this link will originate. You can also add parameters to the link before you created the vanity link in Impact. I personally use Switchy because I am affiliated with many websites and marketplaces like Impact. I prefer having one place to track everything and also display my brand on the link. However, you can skip the switchy part and use the short link you received from Impact directly. Let's see how you can change the link you get from Impact. There are two ways to get there. Click on the menu on content and you'll find vanity links or click on view all in the box where you create the links. Then you'll see a long list of links you've created if you created any. You can have up to 5,000 links in this list at the same time. So you may need to delete some links in the future. To find the link, click on the brand and choose the specific brand you want. This will give you a shorter list, making it easier to locate the link you want to edit or delete. If you hover over the line with the link, there will be a button that allows you to copy the link from there. Click on the three dots on the right side of the link and you'll be taken to a page where you can change the link. It's important to know that you can only change the shortened link you received from Impact, not the long link with all the tracking parameters. You can change it to the name of the product, for example, which can look better in your content if your audience sees the link. Personally, I don't use this option because I use a long link in Switchy, where I don't have limits on how many links I can create. If you delete the vanity link, it will no longer work. However, if you use the direct tracking link, it will work. When you add parameters to link, it's create a new vanity link. However, if you use the same link repeatedly, it will always be the same one you can find in the long list. If you want to track the number of clicks and other analytics provided by Impact, watch this video next. Subscribe to my channel and like this video for more useful content.